Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Sunday. We got five matchups on this NBA slate today. So go ahead and like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below. Go ahead and sign up with Parlay Play as well. Get $10 in risk-free entries when you guys do sign up. And um, free NBA tournaments pretty much every day or so. So um, more chances to win you guys money. So it's a super fun site. So go ahead and sign up and uh, get in on the action pretty light slate today only five games um starting with the golden state warriors versus the los angeles clippers warriors opening up as two and a half point favorites with the over under at 218 the last 10 head to head clippers six and four seven and three covering in those matchups the over under in this series is five and five Golden State, I mean, we know how good Golden State, I mean, they're playing great, great basketball here. Um, 6-0 covering in their last six uh, to go along with their little streak they have. 11-3 on the road against the Clippers. Clippers 10-4 in their last 14. 3-11 at home against Golden State. They are 1-4, just 1-4 covering in their last five games here. Um hard to hard to not take the warriors the way they've been playing here only a two and a half point spread yeah we're gonna roll with the warriors next matchup we have the milwaukee bucks versus the indiana pacers bucks opening up as three and a half point favorites with the over under at 217 and a half the last 10 head-to-head -head milwaukee nine and one eight and two covering in those matchups the over under in this series is four and six Milwaukee eight and two in their last ten. Pacers uh, five and five in their last ten. Milwaukee eight and two covering against the Pacers, five and zero oh against the Pacers. I mean they've dominated the Pacers here. Only a three and a half point spread. No major injuries at all here. Yeah, we're gonna roll with the Bucks. Next matchup we have the Boston Celtics versus the Toronto Raptors. Raptors opening up as three point favorites with the over under at 210 and a half. The last 10 head to head, Boston six and four, six and four covering in those matchups. The over under in this series is four and six. Boston six and four in their last 10. Toronto three and seven in their last 10. One of those losses was a loss to Boston, 88 to 104. Boston 7 and 0 covering on the road against Toronto. 9 and 4 covering against Toronto straight up. And um yeah, Toronto just 1 and 10 covering at home. They have not looked that good here lately, especially at home. Um Yeah, given the Celtics plus points, no injuries really. Um no major injuries for Boston. Um Yeah, we'll take Boston plus the points. Next matchup, we have the Detroit Pistons versus the Los Angeles Lakers. Lakers opening up as 10-point favorites with the over-under at 216.5. The last 10 head-to-head, -head, Lakers 5-5. Five and five. Detroit's 8-2 and two covering in those matchups. The over-under in this series is 4-6. and six. Detroit 3-7 and seven in their last 10. The Lakers 4-6 and six in their last 10. Um, Detroit... You know, on a little losing streak here. Surprisingly enough, they are 5-0 and covering against the Lakers. But, you know, just 1-10 on the road against the Lakers. Um, yeah, LeBron should be good. No major injuries on the Lakers side here. Yeah, 10-point favorites here. Um, I'm going to roll with the Lakers. Uh, Detroit just has not looked good on this losing streak they're on. They've been pretty much been getting murdered it has not looked good it's gonna be the revenge matchup after that fight we'll see if anything crazy happens in this game who knows um but yeah we're gonna roll with the lakers all right and then the last matchup we have the sacramento kings versus the memphis grizzlies grizzlies opening up as one and a half point favorites with the over under at 214 and a half the last 10 head to head split down the middle five and five Sacramento is seven and three covering in those matchups. The over under in this series split in the half five and five. Uh, we know John ja Morant is out. That's a huge loss for them. But no Harrison Barnes and no Holmes. Sacramento just three and seven in their last ten. Memphis 
four and six in their last 10. Sacramento, though, they are five and one covering against Memphis. You know, I think it's just going to be a tough spot without John ja Moran in the lineup. Uh, where are they going to get their scoring from here? Um, yeah, it's going to be tough betting on the Grizzlies without Morant. Uh, we'll see how they play without him for a while, forever, for however long he is out here. But until then, uh, we'll take the points with Sacramento. That's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Sunday. And I'll see you guys Monday. Have a good one.